Have you done your grocery shopping this week? Yes. We usually go on the weekend. I wish I had seen the article we're about to share with you before I had gone because there's one thing on it that we buy regularly Okay. that we probably shouldn't, and maybe you're in the same boat. So these are four things that food experts, food safety experts say you should avoid at the grocery store. Zagnuts. Oh, why would you avoid something so delicious? No, is that not in it? That's not on the list. I saw a zero bar at the grocery the other oh, day. Oh, wow. Still, I'm always shocked when I see those. It's like spotting Bigfoot. <laughs> So here's a few things that, that they recommend. Now, a couple of these, I mean, I think for most of us, you probably don't buy these anyway, but we're going to get to the one that I guarantee you have bought, especially if you're okay. a busy parent and you're just trying to save some time. So the people they talk to about these are, you know, food safety experts. Their job is to make sure that foods are being stored properly, sent to grocery stores in, in safe containers, and that they're, you know, that they haven't been on the shelves too long. That's This is what they do. And these are the things they say they would avoid. Number one is unpasteurized or what they call raw milk. Ew. And I didn't even know that was a thing people I didn't either. would buy. It's not gone through a heating process, as defined by the U.S. Department of Agriculture. And that's the stuff that kills the pathogens, extends the shelf life, things like that. Yeah. So if, if you're buying that, these food experts say you're really putting yourself at risk for salmonella, E. coli, listeria, and a bunch of other stuff. Okay. And I, unless there's some medical reason why you can't have pasteurized milk, I'm not sure why you'd go that way. Gotcha. Second on their list, raw sprouts. Ew. And they're saying, you know, not, not like Brussels sprouts, but think think radish, alfalfa, clover. No, I don't want to think about any of those. Stuff like that. And see, I like alfalfa. It's sprouts. all too healthy. I don't <laughs> want any part of it. I'm not, th this list is affecting my life in no way so far. Well, the funny thing about alfalfa sprouts is like, I don't particularly like the way they taste, but if, if, I, if they have some kind of value, I'll throw them on a sandwich because it's like, oh, they're on there. I can barely even tell the difference. And alfalfa sprouts, little known fact, was the name of alfalfa on the Little Rascals. Look it up. <laughs> uh, anyway, so they, another, again, bacteria, E. coli, salmonella, things like that. So if you are going to get them, they say, please make sure you wash them. You don't have to use soap or, or a produce wash. Just plain running water is fine, but that will, that will do the okay. trick if you insist on eating that stuff. Third on the list, and I know, especially if you're a Whole Foods fan, this is a big one for you. You have their hot food bar. So these experts say they would generally avoid them with a caveat. So here's what you should look for if you're going to grab food from these things. Rule number one, all the food has to be maintained at that hot temperature, 135 degrees or higher. If you don't see the steam coming off the hot food bar, that's going to be a problem. Then this one guy, he says he looks to make sure that the sneeze guard is in place and clean. When's the last time it's been cleaned? And then the other one, and this is a great thing to think about, is the tongs that are in all the things. Mm -hmm. Make sure they're clean because sometimes people go through there and they mix, they'll take these tongs and they'll stick them in this thing. And if they're not keeping that stuff clean, it's a good sign that it's probably not a super safe hot food bar. Not enough for me. Have you seen the video of the man getting the soup and he drinks out of the ladle? Oh, yes. That's the kind of the thing that just keeps me away from doing those things. Because at mm -hmm. the end of the day, the majority of people who go into these places are just gross people. I've seen people take their fingers and, and take the ketchup off the top of the belt bottle at a restaurant and mm -hmm. lick the top of a bottle. You, you keep talking and nobody's going to leave their house again. And then this last one, the number four on the list, and this is the one I think that most of us are probably using the most and buying the most because we're lazy. I like watermelon. I like cantaloupe. I love those kind of things. But mm -hmm. just the, the chore of having to, oh, I got to cut it and I got to slice it and I got to put it in a container. Yeah. It's like, it's a little thing, but I don't love doing it, even though it's much cheaper to buy them whole like yes. that. But they say the fourth thing that they really avoid is pre-cut produce, vegetables and fruits. Gotcha. It's because they don't know what the person behind the counter has done while cutting that produce and what practices they used. Now, they said packaged food by law has to go through a really tough process, but the, but the food that's been produced on site doesn't. Mm. So if it's being shipped in already pre-cut, you can be known that it's, you know, it's probably safe. But most of the stuff we buy at the store is in those little clear plastic containers that they've clearly cut and chopped at the store. They said it's really something you want to avoid. Okay. So take the time, cut your own produce, and you'll be safer. Avoid the raw milk. I know. For me, I love sitting down to a delicious cup of raw milk, enjoying my pre-cut produce. If you have suggestions on things to avoid at the stores, leave it in the comments. Absolutely. Thanks for watching.